just cutting this circle the outer cap plate for the um, center bearing in the middle of the frame there Grab me pliers. This piece here, a little bit of dross again, just needs a bit of a chipping on it to clean it up. Piece here. There's the cap there, so I'll put it up the other way, huh? So the piece there will fit on the end. That's that cap. Just doing a little bit of work here on the axle that supports the, the center of the bike, your yeah, center bearings. Um, there's a bolt that bolts into the end of the axle and it's, there's a cover plate here. So and this then screws into the end of the axle. It's got a 10 mil bolt in it, looks like that once it bolts into the end of the axle. Uh, and welded onto this is the, uh, the support that runs parallel to the frame of the bike. So we'll... Um, We'll get a hole drilled in this, uh, a nine mil hole, and then essentially tap it out with a thread to 10 mil. I've just finished tapping the hole in this. I like to use the lathe. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do it, but uh, this way seems to work pretty good. Keeps everything nice and square. Just slowly making your way in there. So this is, a hole for the end cap, which I'll show you in just a sec. I think we're done. Not quite. Okay. So now, so this is the end cap that I turned up. Um, And the plate, I just plasma cut. So that guy goes in there. Bit of light on the subject. Basically, just sit on the end. Uh, yeah. Steering will come down here off the pipe with the bearings all in here, and this will be mounted to the back bit here at the frame. And then your support will be welded to this that runs off down along the frame to uh, keep it from twisting. So, there you go. That bit there's done. I should mention. <laughs> I should have mentioned at the start of this, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a welder, uh, I have absolutely no qualifications in any of this, I just went out and bought a lathe and watched YouTube videos, so everything that I've done, um, I pretty much learned off YouTube, um, yeah, I have a computer science degree, that's what I have, and everything else I've just learned on the fly, so um, for all those people with lathes out there who say you're doing it all wrong I probably am but it seems to be working okay and I haven't broken haven't broken anything yet so if you've got any uh, tips or better ways to do things uh, feel free to leave them in the comments so what I'm making here is uh, just a support for the uh, the secondary frame rod it's a 25 millimeter um, uh, bar of metal and I've drilled a 10 mil hole through it for the bolt and I've also Drilled about a 16 mil hole, so this thing here will fit inside it. So that'll um, that'll bolt on to the uh, the side of the um, uh, the support and the, the the main bearing, and then the frame secondary support will weld onto this piece here. I think there's two of them, so I'll probably turn up another one. The old hacksaw working away again here. So we're going to make another one of these ends. It goes uh, essentially at the other end of the bike, which. The, uh, the frame support mounts onto. So we'll just get another one cut and we'll drill it out. 
And then we'll be ready for mounting the frame support once we're up to that part. Perfect. So here's all the centre parts of the bike. And I'll just show you how it all goes together. So the bearing on the axle. Just got a spacer here that I just cut up out of aluminium, just a spare bit of aluminium, just to keep everything held together nicely. Washer. Alright, so these bits will obviously be welded in here and here, and then uh, this will be welded inside this shorter bit of pipe, which is the outside part. <laughs> Frame. It's all in. Okay, and then this plate here will sit over the top here. This bit of the pipe with the rest of the frame attaches to this part. We'll get rolled in there flush with the end. So that's pretty much the bike with your suspension mounted on this pipe here. I'll be welded into here. So, yeah, so that'll go up and down with the front of your bike. And then welded onto here, you've got your suspension, which uh, we've got over here. I haven't unwrapped it yet, this great big spring, it's 42 centimetres from hole to hole, so that'll sit uh, somewhere here on the bike. Alright. Now what I'm going to do now is uh, cut the uh, centre support bit of the bike there that attaches to the front end uh, of the suspension. I'm going to cut two circles in a bit of pipe. I'm just looking at my THC here. I'm not going to use it for the two circles, and then I will use it for the larger bit. I just want to check the voltage to see uh, what it does when it cuts the circles without the THC. 
I've set it to cut it 1.2 millimeter above the surface. So uh, the torch will touch off. The torch will touch off and then it'll cut the first and the second circle. I just want to check the voltage and then I'll set that as the voltage to cut the, uh, the outside part of it. So we'll just cut the inside bits first now. First bit cut. I'll just get, I'll just get rid of that bit of metal. Mm, grab my pliers. Okay, get that guy out of it. Not getting in the way. All right, so we're on about 109 volts. So I'll do the second circle. So what I've done here essentially is I've put a pause in. This M5 command bit of G-code gets put into uh, after every single lift. That allows me just to control the cut a bit more. Um, I don't mind sitting here doing it. I'm not just going to leave the machine. So now we're going to, we've just cut this first circle here. We'll now run up and cut that second circle. Again, the voltage was sitting on about 105, 106 volts there as well. Okay, so I'm just going to set this to the right voltage. And we've just pushed it down. It was at 118, so we've got it sitting on 100. And we'll run it at 108. So, I'll just load some more G code here. So we've just finished cutting that. So we'll load the next bit of G code which is the uh, front plate with the THC. So this is the cut. Okay, so switching on the torch height controller, I hit this button here. So it now should respond uh, to the signals from the THC. I'll hit the start cycle and we'll see how it goes. Moves to the start position, touches off. It's on. It's not moving much, but it's on. Moving up. Should have our piece cut here. All right, nicely done. Let's cut another. So here's the first plate I cut. Um, everything come up okay. This hole here was a little bit tight, so I've just added um, probably about a quarter of a mil. To the diameter just to make it fit a bit easier just needed a little bit of filing so we'll just now go cut another one so that one there went in pretty straightforward so we're just going to again cut the circles i don't have to adjust the THE this time it's found a nice bit of metal here it should fit on that little section there the other one was over there so let's see how we go Get that bit of metal out of the way. Alright. Let's so hit the resume button. Load the other G-code, front plate with the THC, that's now loaded, and we'll hit the THC on button, so that's set to the previous setting, which should be fine, 
Start cycle. Job done again. I'll just lift up that torch head. Here's the two plates all cleaned up, the pipes fit through, second time was a bit easier, making that hole a bit larger. Um, everything there lines up, looks good. So now I just need to uh, cut all the plates to space these two parts apart, and then um, that'll all be welded together. So this is all not welded yet, none of it's done. Okay, we're going to cut a couple of strips of metal here. Um, I found a the space here, it should all fit on there. I've got the torch height controller on this time. I thought I'd give that one a go. So we'll have that sitting at 100 and 108 volts. I'm cutting through 3 millimeter thick steel still. So let's hit the start button and get some cutting underway. It's gone. Let me get that out of there. All the big stuff that we need. Just collect them out of the pool and take them over, give them a clean up. See how they look. 